Hi guys, it's Tom from Run of the Mill here. Uh, welcome to another Grand Theft Auto 5 Let's Play episode. Um, in response to a couple of the comments I got on uh, yesterday's First Impressions video, um, a couple of people thought that the uh, funniest part of that video was that uh, I seemed fairly excited about stealing a fire truck, and uh, so I quickly uh, decided to um, just edit out part of the uh, original clip that I took, the bit where I did actually steal the fire truck. Um, this is something I have done in every GTA game possible. Um, it's something I enjoy doing. This one's quite cool. You can actually go inside the uh, the the uh, fire station, the firehouse on the on GTA 5. You can't climb those poles, unfortunately. You can't do anything else inside the firehouse. Um, as far as I'm aware, uh, as you can see, I'm just trying to get in some of the doors here and um, have a look around and uh, just explore a bit. But uh, that's it. I decided that was time for me to try and hijack this fire truck uh, and see what carnage I could cause. What you'll see in a second here is uh, quite funny. I think I feel you smash the window to get in. As you get in, every firefighter in the firehouse decides uh, to try and jump you, which you then have to uh, defend yourself, fend them off. Uh, if you want to stand any chance of actually uh, stealing this fire truck and um, driving around the city. So this is me, uh, again, like I said in, in yesterday's video, I'm not actually that great at the combat system, um, at least not yet anyway. Um, I do manage to survive. You can, oh, <laughs> not, not the guy's helmet off, that's brilliant. I do like the effects in the combat in this game. I like how, uh, you see the little blood splatters on the screen there where I'm taking damage. You know, when I hit people in the, in the face, you can see that they're actually taking damage to the face there, you can see the blood splatters and whatever. And when you die as well, you'll see at the end of this clip, a little bit of a spoiler alert, um, I like the effects that happen when you get wasted as well. Um, but all I do from now on is I drive up and down the city and uh, trying to work out essentially how to shoot the water cannon, if you can, uh, you can, but I was uh, at this point not sure if you could or not. I, I just uh, spend the next few minutes driving up and down, working out how to use the cannon, and then uh, once I realise that you can use it, I decide it's a great idea to drive up and down pavements. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Drive up and down pavements and uh, spray things. It doesn't work on, on cars, but uh, it does flatten people, which is brilliant. I'm really, really happy about that. Um, and uh, I've gone back and done this a few more times since then. I find it really, really fun. Um, if you guys uh, know of any other fun little things to do like this in GTA, if you guys have anything that you, you've enjoyed doing through all the different series and it's available to do GTA 5, uh, please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear what you uh, you guys enjoy doing when you're taking time out for missions. You just want to mess around on the game and, uh, and have some fun. So what I'll do is I'll sign off now. I'll leave you with the rest of the clip and uh, catch you guys later. Peace.